It's just television. Don't be afraid. Folks, my next guest has starred in the films Emma and The Net. And starting next Friday, you can see him with Mira Sorvino in Mimic. Let's take a look. What are you doing? I gotta stop them here. Oh, no. Peter, don't do this! Peter! No! No! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jeremy Northam. Thanks very much for coming back. Nice bit of clip there. Yeah. It makes me want to do a sort of voiceover for a Jackie Chan movie, I think. You know. <laughs> what was that? That you had to dub over that scene? Is that right? Yeah. What, what was the problem? I can't remember. There's sometimes, always... sometimes there's an audio problem and they make the actor come back and... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's always difficult trying to find a space on God's Earth without a, a plane flying over the, cho over the top of it or, you know, some kind of background noise. Right. But I always like that kind of thing in Jackie Chan movies where, you know, the, the, kind of, uh, the rhythms are totally different in English from... Right. From Chinese. I will hit you now. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Kevin, how long have you been in the Hong Kong police? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe uh, 15 years? <laughs> so I kind of fancy That's doing one of those. That'd stretch your way out. Yeah, yeah, you should do that. There'd yeah. be some money in that. Mm. Uh, tell us about this movie because uh, a bunch of, uh, I have not seen the film yet, but uh, some people on our staff uh, just went yesterday and you saw the movie. You haven't seen it yet? No, not me. I want to have the innocence of someone who wants to know about the movie. <laughs> that helps the interview if I haven't seen okay, it. Okay, okay. Because then I can go, what's it like? Okay, right. You right, know, and right. it's real and not faked. Okay. So I did you a great service by not seeing okay, the film. Okay, thank you. In fact, I will never see the movie now. <laughs> no, <laughs> no uh, but everyone was saying that it's one of those movies that, that draws the audience into the point that people participate in the film people in the audience is that the case yeah if you i mean if you like a movie that really is kind of creepy and atmospheric and full of different kind of odd textures and makes you laugh then this will uh, this is great i saw it with an audience in new york and people were screaming and shouting and booing and laughing it's quite very funny they do that with everything and also i mean if, if, i mean they do that at a funeral in new york well i suppose yeah. so maybe yeah. but i mean but, if but what kind if, of things are they shouting uh well almost kind of it might as well be behind you you know as uh, some creatures. Like, what are people thinking when they do that? When they go and see a movie and shout, "Look out!" Yeah, I don't know. I guess you know? they're just entering into the spirit of things. But I mean, if it's the go if your idea of a good sort of Friday night out is to, you know, be so frightened that you unexpectedly feel your pants at an unexpected moment, then uh, then this movie is for That's you. That's exactly my idea of a fun <laughs> night out. <laughs> this will scare you. I'm always looking for a way to do that. <laughs> Never quite appropriate. Uh, there are a lot of. What are the special effects like in this movie? Is this one of those situations where you have to act to nothing, and then Sometimes. later on a computer puts the creature in there? I think Sometimes, that would be difficult. But more often than not, we're using these. Uh, we used a, a puppeteer team, which were uh, incredible. There's like eight guys who operate the the uh, the creature, and you look at it one minute, and there's a pile of fiberglass and latex. And you think, how can you be scared of that? And then. Next, you know, an hour later, you're, you're cowering in a corner saying, get this thing off, because they, they kind of breathe real life in it. They make you feel, as an actor, like you're working with, A, with another actor, and B, that this thing can kind of smell you, almost taste you on the air. It's amazing. They're great, great performers. So you're afraid of puppets. That's what you're telling us now. <laughs> yeah. You find puppets very funny. Marionette phobia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, That's uh... it. Especially when you can see the strings. Can you see, were there just strings on this thing? Was it just kind of like, ah, I'll get you no, now? Or was it like a, I'm thinking it's more sophisticated it's than that. It's a really sophisticated piece of uh, machinery. And they, uh, they, these guys are operating it blind. So they're doing it on trust with one another as a team. It's great work. Now, puppet people also, and I'm going to call them puppet people, and I know I'm going to get letters, but puppet people are also, they're a little strange, I think, sometimes. You know, when you, the, the people that are really into it because they kind of think the puppet's real and they talk about it like it's real and they giggle strangely. Have you been to too many children's parties recently? Yes, I have. 
I used Is to be it? a children's entertainer. Oh, that explains And will be a again lot. soon, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, they, they do. I remember... Uh, <laughs> You do all of that, do you? Yeah. You do those sort of city voices. I dance around for the kids and stuff. Because we have Punch and Judy in the UK. Do you have Punch and Judy here? Um, no, they're the two that hit each other yeah. with boards yeah. all the time. Yeah. No, no. We have Beavis and Butthead, which yeah. is like our That's version the of, <laughs> of the same thing. I love Beavis and Butthead. Yes, yeah, yes. Cool. Good work they do. Uh, cool. you, were a, um, you were a singer at one point in your career. I sang, when I was at drama school, I started, um, I wanted to earn some extra cash and I didn't want to be a waiter, so I sang in restaurants. And, uh, well, rather, did, did the restaurant know you were going to do that? Did you just... Yeah, no, I didn't just show up and, you know, in a raincoat and offer a plate round. But, uh, no, I, I kind of crooned in restaurants. Well, more accurately, I think I emptied some restaurants. Because, you know, you come on for the second set and people say, uh, no, I want the, ch the check now. Now, give it now, because I've heard him sing this song already and he can't sing it. So, uh, let's go, now. So Out. you were just there to irritate people as I much as possible. So. Yeah, it's a kind of goda. You know, you've eaten, now go. You know, I've noticed that in, in those kind of situations in restaurants, when the violinist comes around, People don't, it wasn't like that. They, but they don't want that guy there. No, you don't. And I think, you know, when a violinist or the guy with the guitar or in someone my with case, the roses... you want the guy over there. You know, that was what happened with me. But, but you know, I, and when I go to a restaurant, I want no attention. I don't want someone, like, playing a guitar mm -hmm. in my face. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know it's pleasant for other people. I was young. People. I needed the money. Mm hmm What else did you do when you were young and needed the money? <laughs> You committed a lot of crimes, didn't you? Uh, uh, evidently. Yeah. Uh, and uh, do, so were you a waiter at one point at all, or no? You never yeah, actually... I did, I did wait, but I didn't sing whilst I waited. So you did the singing, and I then shouted. the waiting was completely separate? Yeah. Were you a good waiter? The worst waiter in the world. I was so bad that they used to keep me in the kitchen. So I was only... I had to put food in a lift, which went upstairs, and I would... And prepare desserts and uh, coffee and stuff, and sour cream, buckets of sour cream with onion and chives in it. It was quite a horrible job. Who orders and that? They, Who says I want a go, bucket went, of sour cream went, with chives in it for the table? I'm feeling a little crazy tonight. It went on top of it went on top of potato skins or something like that. And, uh, uh, just a whole bucket. They used, I was so bad. I just yeah. like I would like to, if I saw a pretty girl at another table, I'd yeah. have a bucket of sour yeah. cream sent over to her. And when she got it, I'd be like, hmm? Yeah. That's why, tragically, I'll die alone. Uh, <laughs> Mimic uh, opens next Friday, August uh, 22nd, and uh, it was it's nice to have you back on the program. Nice to be back. Yeah, come visit us again. Nice to see you again. All right, Jeremy Northam, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.